Hey everyone, here is the comprehension check for Rosie Revere Engineer by Andrew Beatty. Andrea Beatty, um, go ahead and put your name and number right here. And then we'll go ahead and go through. Number one, in the beginning of the book, why did Rosie hide her creations? A, she thought they would get stolen. B, she thought they would get made fun of. C, she thought her dog would eat them. Number two, what did Rosie make for Uncle Fred? A. Shoelaces. B. A race car. C. A hat to keep snakes off his head. Number three. Uncle Fred loved Rosie's hat so much he immediately put it on. Is that true or false? Number four. And this is a written answer here. What did Aunt Rose tell Rosie stories about? So you need to make a sentence that says that. She told her about and then tell us what it was about. And then a second sentence. What did the stories make Rosie wanted to do? Want to do? Rosie wanted to. There's a start for your second sentence. Number five. When Rosie tried out the helio cheese copter, what happened? A. It didn't make it off the ground. B. Nothing. C. It sputtered, floated, and then crashed. Number six. What did Aunt Rose give to Rosie? A. A notebook. B, tools, C, sandwich, or D, flowers. Number seven, Aunt Rose laughed at Rosie, but it was out of happiness, out of happiness not making fun of her. Was that true or false? Number eight, looking at this one, how did Rosie impact her classmates? That means, is what did Rosie do to her classmates to make them change? And on to the second page. This is our picture drawing and our sentence writing. Give an example of two sentences that rhyme like the text of Rosie Revere Engineer and draw a picture to match your words. And we'll go ahead and go, we've gone through this in class. So just write down what we've just talk, talked about. And number two, this is also a drawing and writing one. Discuss Uncle Fred and Aunt Rose's reaction to Rosie's creations. How did they impact her differently? So you need to say Uncle Fred acted like so and su such and such, and then Aunt Rose acted like this. So compare, tell me how each Uncle Fred and Aunt Rose acted differently. Okay, I can't wait to see your answers.